Welcome back everybody. We got another game of Warhammer 40k for you today in the Dicehead campaign. Um, the Fall of Stolt Moors. Uh, Tyranids versus Space Marines at 2,175 points. If that seems specific, it's because I forgot to add one unit. Uh, so I added my unit that I forgot and he just threw in another Dreadnought in a pod. Um, we are playing the second mission in the campaign, which is for uh, supply houses. We are trying to sabotage them, burn them to the ground, and the Imperials are trying to prevent that from happening. So, uh, this building is one of the one of the food storage buildings. The small building in the center is another, and then we are playing the statue as the third one. Uh, the Tyranids are trying to get a model in base contact with it and remain there until the start of their next movement phase. If they do that, they have pilfered the stores and destroyed them. Um, if they're still intact at the end of the game, they're worth three points apiece to the Imperial player. If they have been destroyed, they're worth two points apiece to me. Um, and then we score points for Purge the Alien as normal, and you Slay the Warlord, Linebreaker, and First Blood as normal. Uh, Space Marines will set up, Tyranids will have first turn and move on from the edge. Uh, other than Deep Strikers and Flyers and Outflankers, which have to roll for reserve as normal. Be right back and cover the arm. All right, Josh is going to walk you down the Space Marine half first. So for my HQ, I have a chaplain for my warlord. He rolled rights of war, so everyone within 12 inches of him uh, will be using his leadership for morale checks. He is with uh, nine assault marines with two flamers. They have a veteran sergeant with a power maul, and they are sacrificing their jump packs for a free rhino. Then for troops, I have... A tactical squad with a melta gun, a multi melta, and a combi melta in a rhino. And then I have two five man tactical squads with plasma guns in Laz Cannon Twin Link Plasma Gun Razorbacks. Then I have two identical dreadnoughts with assault cannons, heavy flamers, drop pods, and death winds. Then I have ten stern guard with two heavy flamers in a rhino. For fast attacks, I have two identical Storm Talons with Twin Linked Assault Cannons and Skyhammer Missiles. And uh, heavy supports, I have three Centurions with Missile Launchers and Twin Linked Las Cannons. And ten Devastators with four Las Cannons. Alright, there's the Space Marines. Be back with the Tyranids. Next up, we have the Tyranid half uh, for uh, formation. First, I'm running the Skyblight Swarm to give it a try. I've got f two squads of 15 Gargoyles with Adrenal Glands. Uh, they are running with a Hive Tyrant that has the Reaper of Obliterax, uh, Scything Talons, Toxin Sacks, or I'm sorry, not Toxin Sacks, Adrenal Glands, Electroshock Grubs, all that good stuff. Um, I have a blob of 30 Spine Fist Gaunts. Uh, I have a Tyranid Prime with Lash Whip, Bone Sword, and Death Spitter. Uh, he is running with five Warriors with uh, Scything Talons and Death Spitters. Uh, three Zoanthropes uh, with a Neurothrope upgrade. Uh, two Turvagons. Uh, the one that's partially painted is my HQ Warlord. Um, she has Cluster Spines and Electroshock Grubs. Uh, the one that is slightly red, uh, she came in from another swarm. We are still scouring her, getting ready for a paint job. Uh, she's a troop choice one because of the Turvagons, and she has Crushing Claws and Electroshock Grubs. Uh, two Carnifexes, individuals, uh, dual Scything Talon sets. Uh, bio, I, I can't remember if I have bioplasma or not. We'll be back with that. Um, they, all, they do have cluster spines and adrenal glands, though. Um, <coughs> hive crumb with cluster spines. And then two tyrannocytes. As they come, bear 75 points. One will be carrying a turbagon. One will be carrying the warriors. Uh, we will be back after initial setup before the tyranids take their first turn. All right, deployment is complete. The space marines have deployed strongly on this flank. Um, got stern guard anchoring the far flank, uh, tactical squads across the middle, assault marines on the flank here, with the devastators in the tower and the camouflaged relictors in the plastic forest. Um, it's a bad one when uh, painted models are camouflaged into the table. Maybe I should paint my terrain. Uh, so that's the space marine deployment. Um, I reread the terrain site rules to see when I declared. I declare during deployment what's going to be in which. So I'm going to put the zoanthropes and the warriors in the tyrannocytes um, everything else will be coming on from the edge except for the spine gaunts which will be outflanking um, tyranids roll on for first turn uh, we did roll for night fight and got it so we will be back after tyranid turn one tyranid turn one has come to an end uh, hive tyrant and his gargoyles came on here and ran 
um, Carnifexes and Turbogons here. Uh, got the golden roll out of both of the Turbogons, both rolled a four, five, six. So neither ran out of children, and we got 30 gaunts out of the out of the picture. Um, Hive Chrome moved on here to start burning that building. Uh, Space Marines are set to respond. We will be back after Space Marine turn one. Tyranid have, Tyranids have faced the we weathered the firepower for the first turn. Um, Carnifex took two wounds from all of the fire support elements. Not too shabby. I expected him to die, to be honest. But Razorbacks, Centurions, and Devastators fired on him. But with his cover save for the trench and night fight, he managed to shrug all but two of the wounds. Um, Gargoyles took some damage. Deathwing Launcher killed four or five. Uh, Dreadnought killed three or four, and then a couple of snapshots picked one or two off. Um, but they are standing strong, and Daddy's making sure they don't run away. Um, at the end of this turn, the crone will complete the destruction of that building, and uh, we will be back. First blood still to be scored. Tyranid turn two coming up. Alrighty, Tyranid turn two is ended. Uh, we only got one of the Tyranocytes, uh, and the gun, outflanking gods did not come in, but the Tyranocyte landed on target, dropped the Tyrant, or Tyranid warriors out. They fired into the tower here, killed three Devastators, but they made their check. Uh, Spore Pod went crazy, caused two wounds up here. They made their armor saves. Knocked two whole points out of that tank and t one whole point out of that tank. Uh, the Swarm here charged it along with the Hive Tyrant and double locked the Centurions in an attempt to shut their firepower down. And they did like they always do. They failed their morale check, fell back two inches, so they will be shooting me up uh, once more next turn. Uh, Dreadnought and his pod went down to the monstrous creature charge here. Uh, Carnifex killed the drop pod, and the crushing claw broodmother destroyed the Dreadnought. Um, Carnifex consolidated back behind this ruin. He charged in as well to the Dreadnought, and she moved over. Um, made more children, got seven from this mama, but she ran out of babies. Uh, this one spawned 12, which jumped out over here and ran this way, uh, but she is still not out. So, And then the crone flew down here. So we still got a Zoanthrope Brood in a pod and 30 outflanking Gaunts in reserve. Uh, one of the food stores is burning, the other is swarming with Gaunts getting their yummy granola snacks and Twinkie bars. And uh, we've got uh, Twinkie bars, Hershey bars and Twinkies. And then uh, we've got Warriors on this one along with their Tyrannocyte. So the, t the Space Marines are getting surprisingly pushed back very, very early. Uh, but they have some more reserves to come in. Uh, we're going to roll for them now. And we will be back after Space Marine turn two. Alrighty, Space Marines are going to go ahead and uh, call it there. Uh, they got their reserves in, decided not to go and shoot. He did some figuring. Uh, doesn't think he knocked me off the objectives. And at that point, that's going to give me a six point lead there for the three objectives. And uh, I also got first blood. I've destroyed three units. Or maybe, yeah, three units. And I have line breaker unless he does something about them. So. Uh, he's going to go ahead and call it there. That will be a 10-point 10, 10 Tyranid victory. Uh, we will have army lists and after-action reviews at the blog, as always. The link will be in the description. Uh, the first, next Mega Battle is coming up this Saturday. So uh, anybody who can attend that, we'd be happy to see you there. Uh, and there will be a link to the campaign website. Uh, once again, we're... Uh, not just a local thing we want people to send their results in from all across the country so if you guys uh, are interested in being a part of that uh, follow the link and you will find the missions and what we're playing at the moment there uh, thanks for watching guys and we will see you next time